Hi there, my name is Angela Byron, or WebChick on Drupal.org, and I am here to tell you today about the Spark project. Uh, Spark is a Drupal 7 distribution uh, from Acquia that focuses on the authoring experience and sort of improvements to make to that. Uh, our journey began by talking to a bunch of content creators who were uh, pretty frustrated with Drupal's rudimentary content authoring tools, um, and many of the larger users of Drupal sort of identified this strong widespread desire to give content authors sort of a more user-friendly way to create content right there in the context of their site. So they can see the changes that they make in the context of what they will look like uh, when they're finished making their changes. Uh, so we embarked on a journey to sort of look at some of the more widely adopted um, other alternative CMSs, both open source and proprietary solutions. And we tried to identify patterns that we thought worked well and also a UI that we thought would work with Drupal. Uh, so now I'll switch gears and take you into a prototype and show you how uh, what we're currently thinking. So what you're looking at here is this is our first version of our uh, edit in place prototype. Uh, this is just a JavaScript prototype. There's no module code here yet, um, but it's just sort of a, a, to get a sense of how this will be working when it's uh, done in the real world. And uh, we're using the site examiner.com just as an example of a, of a really large Drupal site with a lot of, uh, you know, different types of editors and things like that and a lot of content on it just to kind of show how this solution would work in a, in a site with parameters like that. So once I've arrived at an article that I want to be able to edit, I can just toggle into edit mode. Uh, and what edit mode does is it sort of overlays this gray um, sort of skin over on top of the site except for the fields that I'm able to edit in place. So you can see, for example, if I hover here, I have both the title field and the body field available. Um, now eventually all of the fields on this on this piece of content will be editable, but for right now we're just focusing on sort of a minimum thing to show how the system will work. If I hover out of the title field onto the, the actual node itself, you can see that it outlines here and there's two different buttons I can click here. One is uh, for full article. This will basically take me to a node edit page where I can edit all of the properties of a piece of content such as the publish flag, the you know publication date, the clean URL, all of that kind of stuff. And then there's also a layout button where I can change the layout of this piece of content in place. Um, these things aren't quite ready yet, so we're just going to focus on the edit in place functionality for the purposes of this video. So as I hover over these uh, you know white parts of the page that are highlighted, I can see the name of the field, in this case title, in this case body, uh, and in, in the case of a tablet or a mobile phone I would tap into these areas because they don't have a hover action. And then if I click into the field, that instantly takes to changes to a save or a cancel button. And by typing, the save button becomes active. And I can either save my changes or I can choose to, uh, to discard them. And I'm given a little warning if I try and get out of a field without saving. So I can choose to either save or discard my changes from there. And you can see here that the CSS styling of a theme is preserved, even though I don't have like a little WYSIWYG toolbar above these text edits. So you're getting like a really true what you see is what you get um, view of what the site's going to look like uh, when, the, when the content's published. Um, body field works the same. Um, what we're planning to do here is have uh, an actual toolbar here. You can do bold and italics and underline and links and stuff like that. But for now, um, just to, to kind of show the system in working, we, uh, we don't have that fanciness, but that will be in a later prototype. Um, but it works for the body field as well. So everything I've done to this point has been happening in sort of this, this draft mode. And uh, if I want that to appear live on the site uh, for viewing by all my site visitors, I can click the publish link and then boom, uh, the page Earl Scruggs is now live. So this is now visible to visitors on my site. And you can see that it, it, it contains the, uh, um, the edits that I made on the back end. So there you have it. That's the uh, initial prototype of some of the stuff that we're going to be working on for the Spark distribution. Um, and uh, yeah, we really look forward to uh, comments and feedback in the issue queue, as well as any you know testing or development that people want to help with. Uh, you know, we'd really like to get this stuff out there and and useful to people. And then uh, you know, hopefully, we could try and get something like this into Drupal 8. Uh, yeah, thanks a lot, everybody. Bye.